Tech. Ik ben Tiffany Lenny, but I have goosebumps after watching that 1995 Rugby World Cup moment when South Africa walked away as champs of that year's Rugby World Cup. But guys, joining us to help us relive that moment, none other than the legend himself, Mr. Peter Miller. Welcome to Hectic 99. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, can I just say, now? I can totally say that you are a legend in itself because you would have been in that squad in 1995, but you suffered a neck injury, right? Yeah. And you played alongside all of those players. Please tell me that moment you watched us walk away as champions, what went through your body? Well, I think I need some tissues, you know, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, you know, with, uh, just being there before, beforehand, uh, you know, mm. two months before breaking my neck, you know, going there and seeing the guys performing, you know, you're fe feeling part of it, but you're not part of it. But mm. uh, it was a great uh, time, you know, in our, in our history in South Africa, and I think it united a lot of people. Mm. Um, I think just looking after the, the, the final whistle and driving back to the hotel and seeing everyone outside, you know, uh, you still get goosebumps. I still, you know? I still get teary when I think about it. Yeah. What a moment that was in South Africa. Because I mean, in 1995, that was the year we were readmitted to the World Cup. It was also the year that South Africa hosted yeah. the Rugby World Cup. The year after apartheid ended, and then also the year we walk away as champions, all thanks to Mr. Joel Stransky, that extra <laughs> minute, that job goal. But do you think we expect South Africa to win that year? I don't think we did, you know. Um, I think uh, so they just thought South Africa, you know, haven't been, haven't played World Cup, you know. Uh -huh. And I think, you know, we were not playing well the, the year before, even in 94, yeah. we went to Wales as well. We didn't perform too well, I think we're looking at combinations or kits at that time with looking, but um, I think after the Australia game, that first game, you know, when yeah. Peter Hendricks uh, ran around, uh, David Campisi, I think, that a night something there, and mm. I think since then started people believe. You know, I think we had a couple of issues with fight games, with fighting and everything. Yeah, but some of the, you know, <laughs> <laughs> And uh, but I think after that, you know, I just got confidence and uh, mm. we did well. You know. And we walked away 12-15. That was the end score, right? Yeah. Yeah. As guys, I still get goosebumps. As you guys know, I'm an avid rugby watcher. I'm a rugby fan. Now, what do you? What think you? It now nineteen five in the gebeur. Like, well, how did that change the rugby in South Africa? Eerst is die rapid verander, ek denk die professioneel geraak net aan daar. Ek denk Franswa, daar het ek met Dr. Louis Leid gaan praat en daar was die pekker deals wat rondgehaard op die, was Rappie League ons wat rondgehaard op die. En het het gevoel gewees, ons moet professioneel gaan. Ek denk dit was die grootste skyf gewees na 1995, was was professionalisme, jy weet, vir ons wat in 92 gespeel, ons het net so klein koverkie gekryf, wat die tekst my nie van weet nie. Maar jy weet, die ding het progress waar het vandag is, waar jy sien wat die ons baie geld verdien. Weet jy nie, jylle, ek bestuin jylle besef wat die eer het is nie, hierdie man het langs naas bota gespeel, the Chester Williams, <laughs> amazing, amazing accomplishments. Now, I'm sure that there's a lot of youngsters out there who wants to go pro, but they have no idea where to start. What would you say to them? You know, for any, you know, but any, for any kid, it's just to enjoy rap, you know, go yeah. to school, play, you know, start with tag rap at primary school, you know, if you don't know how to uh, play, start or, but tag rap is there, Sarah's so got great initiatives, you know, from getting to rap, you know, so mm. I think they just need to follow the guidelines with the school, but just enjoy it, you know? it's not about winning, and I think the parents put a lot of emphasis, because it's professional now, mm. to, you know, you have to do well, you have to go and play A-side, but, you know, play. You know, you only develop when you're 15, 16, and I was a skinny guy like this in school, you know, and only by 18, you know, you uh -huh. uh, got bigger, but just go enjoy it, and, but then, you know, if you want to set your goal, you know, and it's a dream, then go for it, you know, but it's hard work, you know, because everyone else wants to do it as well. I think any professional game today, there's so many guys that want to try, so you, mm. Your, your, your window is small to, to get opportunities to do it. But live, live your dream, uh -huh. live big, and, and believe in yourself. Ah, oh, meneer Peter, baie dankie vir die um, woorde van bemoediging. <laughs> but we do know that your 90s sports knowledge is up to par, but we want to test your general knowledge when it comes to the 90s. Okay, so I'm going to fire nine questions at you, and you'll have to try and answer them correctly. Okay. Slow, starter. Yeah, yeah, I can do it, I can do it. It's a bit of a Okay, so here's the question. What TV show starred Monica, Rachel, Phoebe, Joey, Chandler, and Ross? Um, if you think about that one, Friends? Yes! Okay, so that's one. <laughs> Correct, okay. Question two. A portion of whose ear did Mike Tyson bite off during a boxing match? Uh, uh, Holyfield, uh, Randa, uh, Randa Holyfield. Yes! Okay, so. okay that's so correct. <laughs> Question number three. Which girl power group sang the line <laughs> Zigzag Ah? 
this could, could only be one. It must be from the UK Spice Girls. Yes! <laughs> Correct! Oh, my word. Okay, you're on a roll. Question number four. Who captained the South African cricket team in the 1992 Cricket World Cup? Ah, uh, jeez. Think by and way. There's Hansi, there's Clive Rice. Um... The other one? Oh, I'm going to skit you. The only one that comes up. I can't think about it, Tony. Well, it's Kepler Vessels. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, can I? It's okay, it's okay. My son is out. Yeah, no, it is. And um, question number five. What is the name of the electronic toy sensation that required you to look after it as if it were a pet? Oh, no. You have to feed it, play with it. Wasn't there some dog or something? No? Yes! What, what was the whole, what was the toy oh. called? <laughs> now I'm bad with names. So. <laughs> well, you were close. The doggy. No, well, no. no, it's actually called a Tamagotchi. A what? A Tamagotchi. Is it a Tamagotchi? But the colour people say Tamagotchi. <laughs> it's a Tamagotchi. A Tamagotchi, okay. Number six. What was the name of the TV show that starred James van der Beek and Katie Holmes? No, no idea. No idea. <laughs> Dawson's Creek. Uh, that's a girl. That's a girl question. Well, we were checking your general knowledge. Uh, Number seven. What is the name of the band who sang "Smells Like Teen Spirit"? Uh, Come on. Is that it, uh, Nirvana? Come on. Yes. Congratulations. Okay, two more. Two more. Who won the 1996 Africa Cup of Nations? I think that was Bufana Bufana. Ah! <laughs> something I never thought would happen. Okay, number nine. I love, I love Bufana Bufana, guys. I love them. Number nine, last question. What was the name of the sheep who was first successfully cloned? <laughs> I'm sure your colleague said something about Dolly. Yes! <laughs> Peter Miller, congratulations. And thank you so much for joining us on the show. Pleasure. And really, you're a rugby legend in your own right. And thank you so much for all the work and all the opportunities you are creating for younger players. Thank you. Well, guys, much. that is Peter Miller. Do stay tuned as we have more Hectic Night on right after this. Hectic.